Germany has transferred a new package of weapons to Ukraine, which includes Patriot Air Defense System. Apart from much sought after Patriots, the military aid package also includes ammunition for Leopard 1 tanks, two self-propelled multifunctional radars TRML, 4D, 55,155mm shells and 9,000 shells for Jeopard anti-aircraft tanks, 30 vector reconnaissance UAVs with spare parts, 200 mobile devices for jamming drones, 10 autonomous sea boats, 4 Wissant 1 engineering tanks and an armored recovery vehicle with spare parts, 10 armored vehicles and 3 patrol jeeps. In addition, satellite communication terminals, night vision goggles, assault and sniper rifles, machine guns and ammunition for them, smoke bombs, explosives and detonators have been supplied to Ukraine as part of new military aid package. Germany has so far provided or committed for future years military assistance with a value of approximately 28 billion euro. Funds for the security capacity building initiative in 2024 alone for military assistance to Ukraine amount to approximately 7.1 billion euro. This includes financing of Germany's contributions to the European Peace Facility of the European Union. Up to 5 billion euro and approximately 1.6 billion euro were spent on military assistance to Ukraine in 2023 and 2022 respectively. Moreover, nearly 2.9 billion euro were committed in the first two years of the war for deliveries, which will arrive only in the years 2025 to 2028. In the eastern direction, the loss of the enemy in three months reached about 82,000 people. This was reported by the spokesman of the Kortitsia military unit, Nazar Volishin, on the air of the Telethon. Over 24,000 in April, over 25,000 in May, and almost 32,000 in June. The total figure for three months of offensive actions in the area of Chasevyar, as well as along the entire front line in the eastern direction, is 82,000 occupiers. But there are still other directions. The number can reach 90,000, the spokesman said. As before, Volishin noted that the enemy lost up to 5,000 soldiers only during the storming of the Canal microdistrict in Chase of Yar. He said that the enemy continues active assault operations in the area, and the Russians are suffering significant losses. Ukrainian troops killed more than 100 Russian servicemen and wounded 132 more in the chase of Yar, Toritsk area over the last day. Several pieces of equipment, ammunition depots and dugouts were destroyed. Volshin said. He said that Ukrainian drone operators had destroyed the Tulip self-propelled missile system. Over the past day, more than 250 attacks took place directly in the town of chase of Yar mostly in the southern part of the city. There were no assaults on the city this day, the Russian army dropped one aerial bomb on the city. According to our information, 
the enemy put about 5,000 soldiers in the chase of your operation to capture one or one and a half neighborhoods. The enemy is suffering significant losses, Voloshin added. Earlier, Voloshin said that Russia had opened a new front that was in sleep mode, it is the Torrit's direction. The enemy is trying to storm the positions of the defense forces from Holyuka in the Toritsk sector towards Kostyantinivka.